Hello my loves, welcome to another pick a card reading. I know it's been a while, there's been a lot of activity in the energies with Twin Flame Soulmate Divine Counterpart Connections, so I am getting to this today, so I hope you enjoy. Please take a look at the four piles that we have here, and we're going to get started. Close your eyes and feel it out. This is going to be what's going on in your connection, any messages that come through. It's going to be very prominent and very profound is what I'm feeling. So yeah, here are your options. These cards came out, so I will be using them in your reading. This is the picture of pile number one. Okay, and this is the stone. Here is pile number two. Here is the picture. And this is the bracelet. It is a beaded bracelet from Mexico. Here is pile number three. with the tree citrine necklace. And pile number four, here is your picture with the prayer beads, Amazonite stones and clear quartz crystal. All right, my loves, we're gonna get started. Hello group number one, this is your reading. If you picked this image here, this is a very uh, prominent image. I'm going to just fix the camera up a little bit. There we go. And um, yeah, we're gonna incorporate that into your reading. I am gonna channel it right now actually. And this is the stone that you picked, the agate. So yeah, this is um, what's going on in your connection right now is, uh, I'm sorry if you hear in construction next door, somebody is banging, so that's the just started. And so um, I'm feeling because we're hearing the banging is that there's some type of reconstruction going on in your connection, that there is definitely this masculine or your person is definitely holding a very peaceful stance here. And they're holding their energy amidst all of these um, darkness. As you can see, they're transmuting a large amount of darkness in their life they're ending karmic cycles and these things are like ghosts and things that are exiting their body and the attachments are are um, being severed so they are finding their peace in the midst of the darkness which is amazing okay we're gonna be using the light seers way and my deck the cosmic tarot to clarify what is going on for pile number one's connection please spirit how do they feel about pile number one what is going on in this connection for my viewer thank you what is going on with pile number one what is going on with their person thank you spirit what is going on with pile number one's person we're gonna take all of them Wow, I think we've got quite a bit here. One, two, three, five. Yeah, we have quite a bit. So there's a lot of shifts that are happening in your person's life is what I'm getting. And that's because of that card here of, of really finally releasing, releasing certain things. We're going to see what else has come out here. We have the nine of pentacles is what we're starting with in reverse and i feel like your pile is your person is wanting to tell a story here of why they haven't actioned anything and why um i feel pile number one you're waiting for something and spirit is saying here it's because of some type of attachment and what they've been going through there's something here of why they haven't been able to action something because um they were in a prideful place i'm seeing this lion here that uh they were acting in a distorted place that's why they haven't actioned um, because they were attached to certain things which could be um, lustful ways of thinking or whatnot and I also feel complacency for others that they're unable to action certain things they kind of avoid conflict I'm feeling an avoidance energy as well too 
But what I'm seeing here is that they are coming very close here with the Four of Wands into wanting to discover something new. And the Four of Wands is not just the Twin Flame card and about union <clears throat> and building a foundation. It's also about completing something. It's also getting very close and celebratory. You know, these people are celebrating something because they've accomplished something. So the reason why they haven't been coming forward in this connection is that they have been attached to this, working on this, discovering more about themselves and what they want. And Spirit is showing me these two birds here are very prominent. And um, that's because they are discovering what this connection is. This person is also walking across a ledge here. I've never noticed that before. Um, I don't use these cards much, but they're beautiful. And so they're, they've realized that they had to kind of walk through this scary part on this very thin uh, sort of truth and it can cut your your feet your footing you know your roots you're you're walking on a blade here and so spirit is saying this walking on a blade you know they had to go through these hurts and pains that's why you can see the release in that card that's happening and that sucks because that <laughs> the light is right on that so we'll put it over here um okay that's better <laughs> so yeah this is um in there this person is not even looking they're not they're avoiding what's the painful stuff so that they can gain this enlightenment and discover more about this connection so this person has been studying and trying to figure out who you are to them and what this is about and they're coming close to completing that okay we have here the uh five of cups in reverse they're ending a lot of the regrets in the past spirit is saying they kind of like were sitting in this hole and they weren't able to come forward um, and they had to kind of go through each of these cups here to figure out why they were in a dark space. But that process is coming to an end. We also have two fives. So let's move these this way. So when I clarify, um, Spirit is saying here, we have two fives, which is massive amounts of change, right? Mm hmm. So the whole aspect here with this, I'm seeing like it's not just battling, it's balancing again. Because see how they're on these, they're, they're training very much like this Page of Swords, how they had to balance on this little thin blade of truth to know the truth. Um, this was also walking very diligently in their path and not... and. <sighs> not wanting to miss anything you know they had to go through this training process in order to end their regrets as well and that's why they were going through each of these cups in their process okay it created a lot of instability for this individual um so much so it's the king of pentacles in reverse that they may be losing some type of grounding and footing of what they've known in the past but that's okay that they had to realize that maybe this person didn't, they were a little bit too attached, right? To certain things and codependency to certain things with that nine of pentacles in reverse. And so what happened is that, you know, they had to become this lone wolf and they knew they had to do this lone wolf. Like, I feel that, um, they were kind of the person before in the past to just, you know, kind of jump from one person to the next instead of taking enough healing time for themselves to um, clear their energies. And they were afraid of being alone is what I'm getting with this person. And that's the stability that they had to learn to walk on with that page of swords to just the page of swords to uh, discover about themselves before they came to you. Yeah. And they couldn't come to you. They, they were codependent. And so they were attaching to things. And they're realizing that they have to get off this path. And um, this is the page of wands and offer something more passionate. But it's um, the what the divine is offering them is something more passionate, something liberating, something freeing, something very exciting. And in order for them to get on this, they're going to have to um, get off the path that they've always known. Yeah. We're going to just move these. A lot of cards came out for you. So I'm feeling like it is a rebuilding process. Those people have stopped banging now. Um, it is a re and the birds have started. So, you know, um, spirit is really bringing through some messages here that a lot has happened in this connection that you may not be aware. You may be feeling it, but um, you may not have been aware of it until now. So 
Yeah, I think it's validating what you've been feeling. Let's clarify this attachment. Let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Let's see what else is coming through. It's clarified by the Six of Cups. Let's clarify the Nine of Wands, uh, the King of Wands, sorry. We're just going to clarify each one. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have two with the Four of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Four of Wands, please. We have the Queen of Wands. The Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords. I feel it's this one. The chariot. We clarify the Five of Wands, please. We'll get through it. I I need to clarify first and just channel the energies of what I'm seeing. Sorry, guys. I'm not one of those ones that can talk at the same time. And you have a lot of cards, so. You've got like all the fives here. Okay. So spirit is saying here with your nine of pentacles in reverse, it's about being attached to a, a past situation and being loyal to a past situation. This is also probably has something to do with tradition is what I'm hearing, how they're raised, a culture, uh, things that you're supposed to do in your family. Um, just how things are necessary, how things are done. And I'm feeling like this person is looking back at their life and saying, you know, <laughs> this is what I would have done as a child. This is um, a behavior that I'm seeing that I've kept up as a child. And I've been loyal to a certain pattern that's kept me in a place of attachment. And it's like this, <laughs> this person, it could be a person, it could be an event, it could be a karmic situation, because this is a general reading, right? But it's like this loyalty that they've had is showing them their attachment. And it's kind of growing old right now. So I'm going to clarify with my deck, which is, I just had it out. There we go. Yeah, so they're attached to the past somehow. And this is the progression is what I'm seeing. They're telling you a story here of where they've progressed in this connection. So how you have known them was here um, from the last time of where you guys have left off. Uh, that's what I'm feeling. So wherever the two of you have left off, they were still attached to a past pattern, to a person, a person, place or thing, something in that was very embedded in tradition and culture. Spirit is saying there was no action here because they were trying to build and work on something else. They were trying to build and work and create something else. Um, like a contract with somebody, you know, so they were trying to meet other people, build a community and build something of longevity. And this is why they weren't actioning anything towards you. So we're going to clarify. So let's keep going. Uh, let's start with the attached before we get too into this. It's a really big reading. So let's start with the first. Uh, it's about being attached and um, in the past. And Spirit is saying this person is no longer doing this. Their challenge is to come forward with an offer. That's where they were in the past. They're like, how can I actually bring anything to the viewer here because I'm still so attached here and it's not fair because they know that there was uh, something long term here with you and they were aware of this long term and they weren't sure spirit is saying yeah um, how to make this decision they knew it was very powerful is what I'm getting with this judgment it would have changed their entire life it would have changed the way that they've seen their patterns and how relationships are supposed to be like so viewer one you really broke them out of um, concepts and traditional ways of what marriage is or what love is and that really was a little too much for not that you were too much but the connection and this type of enlightenment was very powerful for them and so they denied it and they doubted it it made them doubt that magic like that can actually happen and they know that there was something long term here because you woke them up out of a very dark slumber out of those past patterns of what they've known and because of that um they couldn't they were challenged in what to give you a lot was revealed with that high sorceress card a lot was given to them that they're like i don't know how 
<laughs> what this is, right? They're like, I have no idea what this is. I'm, I'm confused. I don't know how to offer, clarify that offer. What? <laughs> this is, I must have picked up the, I, I can't, how does this happen? I shuffle you guys every time before I come and clear the cards. And this has been happening a lot lately, which is really interesting. This is about neglect. They didn't, and it came up in reverse. They didn't want to neglect you because you brought up their family patterns of childhood or whatnot that of neglect and abandonment. So that's very interesting. And they didn't want to do that. That's why they were on the fence of, you know, giving you this offer because they saw the longevity. Um, yeah. And it was challenging because they didn't know how to give to you. And, um, Yeah, the five of cups, they wanted to end regrets, but I don't even feel it was like ending regrets. I feel like they couldn't even look at how they treated you because they couldn't accept the regrets at that point in time. Okay, so let's move forward. And so because they didn't do this, Spirit is saying they didn't action things with you. They tried to build elsewhere, something of longevity, and they tried to move forward. And it was a basically, basically a shit show is what I'm going to say with the strength in reverse. Their ego was everywhere. Uh, they know that this created a missed opportunity with the hanged man in reverse. Um, they didn't gain any enlightenment. And they picked a karmic partner that's being presented here with the queen of wands in reverse, which is leading up to the next part of the story. And so because they picked, a, you know, they suppressed this truth with the ace of swords in reverse. Yeah, the, the channel is coming through clear now. So it's... Um, Spirit is saying that they picked something out of sensuality and sexuality and lust and all of these different patterns and they haven't healed things. So they just suppressed the truth because it was easier for them to operate in that way because they felt already trapped. Um, and as you can see, this bird is not really trapped, but it's comforting. So they just kind of you brought them out of that cage just a little bit. You brought them out, but they're like, I can't leave that cage, you know. I can't leave that cage, you know, and so they did build a foundation here with this queen of wands and this four of wands. They decided to with the karmic, but it never moved. It never transitioned to anything else. Um, it didn't excel. They blocked communication. They didn't come towards you. I blocked a whole bunch of things in their life spirit is saying, and again, the judgment card is come, came out twice. Look at this, but this is because I have two decks. <laughs> I have two decks and they get mixed up every now and then. So I've just left it and said to spirit, whatever. I have like two of my own decks. It's like if they mix up, they mix up. And so, yeah, spirit brought it out for you again. That's why they couldn't un they couldn't come into this renewal place. And spirit is saying they had many opportunities throughout your separation, through, you know, this connection with you. But the wheel just would never turn in their life. And then they would think about this brightness that you brought forward and how they denied it that they there was a renewal there was an opportunity for a renewal and they denied it and that created more of a distance for them because it made them feel really bad here that they had ended the relationship with the two of cups in reverse they're like oh my god i've been a fool but can i go back to that we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, so they didn't take responsibility for any betrayal. That created more, yeah, created an internal fight with the Five of Wands within themselves, right? So it forced this person to go into a self-discovery mode. Your connection has transformed this person tremendously. I believe you guys are coming into a new vibration together. It's really beautiful, okay? This forced them into the Page of Swords and the and the Chariot to really move through their obstacles and fairly quickly because this triggered them back into those past patterns of when they were a child, back into old patterns that they couldn't move forward. Spirit would not let them move forward. And so this connection is was really enlightening to them to move through their obstacles here. Yeah, with that Page of Wands in reverse that's saying, you know what, you need to get off this path now because this path is not healthy for you and um, you have to discover more. Two of Wands, it forced them to stop this back and forth. 
So they've stopped this back and forth. This is the near the middle of the read. This is present moment. They've stopped it. Okay, they know where they're going. They've had a self-discovery about, they're curious about what this connection is now, right? Where And they're seeing where they've been blocked off to this and they've had to make a decision with that two of wands to have that tower moment, to allow the tower to fall here. And because they're allowing the tower to fall, they get to discover more <laughs> with the page of swords. This person is realizing, wow, when I actually don't resist um, something breaks away. I feel this person is gaining their momentum. They're like, oh, wow, when I don't resist the dark and it breaks away, I get another revelation. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's not as scary as what they first thought. So they're recognizing the power of this connection. They were scared before, but they're feeling, they're understanding how the divine works now because of the separation. And so here we are, separation. They don't want to fight the separation anymore. They knew that it was training ground with that five of wands. So emperor rising up, they're realizing, I don't want the separation anymore. I feel like I can come in my divine self and plan for a future here with pile number one. Okay. We have the Four of Cups. They have some regret about what they've lost along the way. And I believe it's you, viewer, because they walked away from you. And they realize with that Eight of Cups that they walked away, that they're like, I need to make amends here. So this is now moving into the near future here. Okay, so this is present moment. We're going to get into the near future here. And so they are recognizing their emperor status and what they've lost. They, they realized um, that they have to break down any foundation with the four of wands in reverse. That uh, whatever they built up in a home, they're breaking it down presently. So they're ending their regrets here. They are avoiding now how they end here. They were, thank you, Spirit is bringing me back to here. In the past, when they rejected this connection, Spirit is saying now they're rejecting whatever pattern that they're in, okay? Um, and so we have two Five of Cups here that they're just not paying attention to those cups anymore and the regrets. They're just avoiding it completely now um, because they know that, that it's an old pattern. They've recognized that. We have the Seven of Cups here with the tower in reverse. They are um, having an internal tower awakening, right, about their dreams. What do they really want to create in their life? What have they created in their life? That's really what's happening. And um, they're like, okay, so I've had a fear of change before, but now that I'm ending these regrets, he's contemplating here. He's like, how do I want to manifest now? What are my dreams is what I'm hearing. What are my dreams? Let's see. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. I want to create a stable home life. I want to create a Ten of Pentacles. I want to. So this person, and when I created this card, it's still an illustration. It's not a real life picture, but it is a, a an abundance of manifestation of a long, something longevity, something, you know, that's really going to bring um, massive amounts of abundance here. And so this person is dreaming about how to come forward to you and how to commit with the Hierophant. They have learned their lessons. They're thinking about tradition. They're thinking about marriage. They're like, how, how does this play out now? And with my Queen of Cups, with the Divine Feminine, who has the abundance of the egg to manifest. So they're, they're moving into this energy now. Your person is moving into this energy of allowing themselves to think about a future, allowing themselves to realize the lessons of the past of when you go into your dark, it's just a, an ability to, um, an opportunity to like remove that, to heighten yourself. And they're recognizing that they want something here with, um, with you because they're not afraid of the dark anymore. You're the moon. They intuitively know this and they want a commitment and they know that whatever dark, you can go through it. The, they're not going to be this back and forth energy anymore with that night of wands, the moon and that shady because that creates dishonesty with that back and forth energy and the darkness that they've done. They've learned the lessons of this and they're making a decision in their love life right now because they did reject this love. So even though they're unstable, they are standing their ground for a reunion here. That's what I'm seeing, guys. Okay? They're not out of the woods. Spirit wants you to recognize they're not quite out of the woods here. 
half of this is lighting up, but do you see how they're transmuting? So they're not fully out of the woods yet, but they're getting there. They are most definitely getting there. They're standing their ground. They are in a Zen place. They're like, look at this, that dark, that dark can, can <laughs> come at me and I am not allowing it to affect me. Um, look at all the wands coming at this person, right? Sitting in their very Zen like position. Um, yeah, so they want this reunion here and these spirals on this girl's back is very much divine feminine energy, knowing that, you know, they want a reunion with the divine feminine and looking at the stars and wishing for that. So clarify that spirit. Yeah, they're ending the toxic ways, the devil in reverse. They're ending their toxicity. They're not on stable footing right now, but they're bringing this justice and they're juggling and going back and forth of how to ground their energies now. So this king of pentacles in reverse is slowly moving towards getting his stability back out of his current failures. So this person has worked through a lot of their emotional issues. They've, tra they've transmuted it. They're now working on integrating and manifesting in the physical world. And that includes coming towards you, the viewer. Okay. Um, they're getting off the path now. So this is the future that's coming in. The last outcome is this um, page of wands of getting off of a, a path here right discovering something more they have to they're ending a relationship where they have been stuck in and it's causing a lot of conflict so this this person that you're um your person has had all of this awareness and there was a lot that came out spirit is saying because they wanted you to see intricately exactly what was happening with your person okay what was really um the step and step by process, step by step process that they were going through to get to this point. So now they're they're dealing with all of the conflicts in their life right now with that Queen of Swords, with the karmic energy, right? Which, right, and they're moving through it very swiftly here. We have the karmic energy moving through it very swiftly that's trying to cause delays. So, you know, they're being very clear in what they want. They know the delays. They're removing those obstacles right now because they understand the King of Pentacles again in reverse. They know what's keeping them unstable and ungrounded. So it's not that they don't understand what's going on. And so this is going to be a process now for your person of finally um, ending this and coming um, into some type of... Um, manifestation with you clarify the delays here with the karmic yeah it's keeping the queen of pentacles away and they know that you are the divine counterpart here king and queen of pentacles together so they know this and they know that they're trying to delay it but they're removing this obstacle because they've learned how to do that in the past right <laughs> based on what you've taught them spirit wanted to show you that based on what you've shown them viewer um, by this in the separation and by doing your healing work, they are realizing, wow, what a divine feminine, what a divine masculine, what of my divine person. It's like they showed me already how to move, well, how to walk on that, that thin um, sword of truth and how to remove these obstacles. And now I can actually do it and ground it in manifestation in my physical world. Beautiful. We have the Ten of Cups that came up. So yeah, beautiful and bright. See how realistic that is? Because they want that now. They want that ton of cups. And they're going, they're going for it. They're going for it. They are going for it. This is really beautiful. Let's get some messages from your person. I'm going to actually grab some more um, oracles here first before we get the messages. If you guys really like this reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are wanting a coaching session to catalyze you very quickly, uh, take a look at my website or email me and um, we can go deeply into your situation um, to shift you. It really shifts. People have noticed huge shifts that work with me in their connection in their life. Okay. So yeah. All the info is down below. Let's take a look. What else for pile number one spirit? What is going on with pile number one's person? Pile number one's person. Some oracles here. Woo. I feel like there's like a lot of green in their heart chakra. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that one that we always get? A lot of sacra, a lot of green. So sacral and heart chakra, we have pers per, uh, perseverance, perse ugh, 
perseverance. <laughs> I can't speak today. Um, perseverance. So they're moving through very swiftly at a nice steady pace. They're moving through coming back home is what I'm hearing. They're doing it in moderation. They're taking their time. They don't want to rush anything. They don't want that back and forth energy. They want to stay on that steady foot, one foot, and then the next step, one foot in front of the other, bit by bit, step by step. They are surrendering as they go. So this is about patience. So they're holding patience. They're holding their steadiness in walking this path into illumination, which is really beautiful. Let's pull some of the hidden oracles, please. Start for group number one. For power one, please, and my viewers, what are the hidden oracles, the hidden messages? We have the camel boy, small steps, <laughs> asking for help. So they're maturing. They're going bit by bit, number 33 there. So they are taking their time. They're like, yep, yeah, bit by bit, sure footing. I am persevering and I am moving forward. The lady of lightning, surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift. So they are having these, um, <clears throat> and I was seeing that with the tower in reverse, that internal change here with that tower that came up in reverse. Um, here, was it here? No, it was over here. You think I can find it now? <laughs> My God. But yeah, there was, it was an internal process of change that they were having um that they realized what they were actually doing and so they they are shifting complete different paradigms different timelines everything very swiftly and very quickly we have here the arrow master hitting the mark intention and detachment beautiful they are aiming for what they want they are getting um guidance with these little light these little fairies and little light sprites that are lighting their way here okay and they're aiming their arrow in the dark and they're going for it and they're taking that risk and they're taking that chance and they are setting that intention okay they're saying optimism aggression and actioning these things now okay this is also a 10 for completion we have a four here we have a 33 and we have a, if these numbers mean anything, a 35, which is an eight. So yeah, they're, they're, look at how he's showing, uh, you know, it's very similar to the arrow. She's taking aim, but this fire is also, you know, very where he's putting that light, where he's shining his, where he needs to put his aggression, where he needs to put his action and being very mindful of what he's doing. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Let's get some messages from your person and that will be your reading i hope you guys love that don't forget to like and subscribe and share and comment and take a look around especially if you're on a twin flame journey uh you may want to take a look at some of that we have one that popped out here this is for pile number one please what messages do you have one's person we have a lot of divine masculine energy coming through when it is um, how I created these cards they're called um, mirrored messages so they will be for sale soon um, what is happening is when you get a message it is how your other person is feeling it within themselves so if they are divine masculine there is a, it is a message towards the divine feminine that the divine feminine feels within herself and if it's the other way around and it is a masculine that is you're asking about and you get a divine feminine card it means that is the they are feeling the messages that the divine feminine is sending within themselves okay i hope that it makes sense but if you're on the twin flame journey you get it okay so we have here divine masculine i know being apart is painful but please remember when we break when we break our love will have room to grow it will heal everything i promise spirit is purifying us for an amazing sacred union please dig deep yes they're fully aware of this process. And I was seeing that since your separation or, or little contact, it's like, 
yeah, this is, they, they've learned this, that they're not afraid of that dark anymore. I am in the process of ending this karma. Breakups, fighting, and financial issues are being resolved. This masculine knows what he's doing. He's clearing the way for ease and peace. And that's what I'm feeling. This person does not want to bring you into any drama. They want to come forward and they want to aim at you that arrow and be like, this is the truth. We're doing this. And they ain't going to take no for an answer. I don't think they're going to take no for an answer. Divine feminine energy. I am so angry about our situation. I'm doing my best to heal this. I know you feel my anger, but I also know I have to express it in order to heal it. So they're feeling the divine feminine's frustration on the inside. If it's a divine masculine or a divine feminine, you're frustrated about the situation. Um, but it's like, it has to be expressed. And that's kind of what this dark energy is like. You have to get it out. You can't repress it. You have to find healthy ways to express that energy. Divine Masculine, I don't know where you begin and I end. So yeah, very, very beautiful Twin Flame connection. I'm sending you guys so much love. I hope you like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon. Bye guys. Hello, pile number two. You picked this beautiful card. This is a, I believe, a union here that you're asking about, a divine counterpart. Of course you are, because that's why you're here. But um, this is something about your energies merging and coming together in a very profound way. I'm also feeling that your person is protecting you on this connection and is wanting to bring the divine feminine is what I'm seeing back to life. And so you've been feeling some shifts happening. Your person has heightened and is coming into a place of protection and is highly protecting this connection. And we have this beautiful bracelet that you picked. It is a beaded. Oh, it's one of my favorites. And um, I got this in Mexico. It's, it's really beautiful. I absolutely love it. So this is your card and this is about, um, yeah, divine feminine coming back into life, uh, about an, igni an ignition, something is alchemized, something is, um, awakening in this connection. Something ha is transpiring right now in this connection. Let's see what comes out for pile number two, please. What is going on for Pile 2 and their person? Where is this connection, this person towards the connection? Pile 2's person towards them, please. Where is this connection going? Pile 2's person towards them, please, Spirit. Thank you. What is going on in this connection? Oh, you guys can't see. Did my camera move? There. So you guys can see your picture over there. What is going on with Pile 2? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with Pile 2's person, please? Pile 2's person. Okay. And let's clarify, please. Can I get four more cards to clarify? Thank you. All right. I love how they came out like that. Perfect. All right. So let's take a look. What is going on for you, Pile 2? We have the Seven of Swords. So there's been some um, hidden... I am not seeing deception. There may have been deception in the past, but Spirit is saying this is very present moment energy for you. This person is transforming a lot of um, darker energies. And so they are hidden in their agenda right now. You may not know, and I feel like Spirit is also not allowing you, viewer, to know what's going on. I feel you guys are intuitive. A lot of this group is intuitive, and you may be pulling your own cards or asking pendulums and doing something. You're not getting very much. It may also be Spirit is saying that you're looking at tarot readings and you're getting mixed messages like, yes, no, yes, no, and you're like, oh, what is going on? Spirit is like, this is hidden from you for a reason. This masculine is unstable right now, so he is in some type of planning mode to ground something. So he's not ready to fully ground this, okay? This divine masculine, whoever is holding the divine masculine energy in your connection. And so you, uh, it's not that he's being shady or dishonest right now. I feel that he's gone through massive amounts of transformation. 
he's just learning of how to integrate it and spirit's like i can't show you what's happening because it's we're not meant to know everything every time, right? You, you, you don't, you want to won't be surprised. <laughs> you want spirit to woo you in, in the majesty of, um, of manifestation. So there's been some quick movement through narcissistic energy is what I'm getting. Your person is following the change. You see how the crows are very prominent here. They're really bringing it through that the crows are, you know, this masculine is gathering the crows here. He's holding a sword of truth and he's Stife? Stifle? 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 Not stifle. Stife. Stife? Is that a word? Their spirit is bringing that up. Like being very, you know, um, kind of like super, not super, um, Spider-Man, you know, like undercover. <laughs> like, no one can know my identity. <laughs> um, but for a good way, because he's following the, the birds. He's following spirit um, through uh, this of where to go and he's about to get on this bike he's moved through some very dark energy and look at this the crow they're showing me sitting on that sort of truth right this could have been some narcissistic energy that he was dealing with that was trying to cover up his truth and so he's seeing where the birds are leading and we've got an owl here with a lot of wisdom and so whatever was blocked from his wisdom and seeing these truthful um the truth out of the situation Spirit is saying he's moving through that very quickly and he's ready to jump on this bike and follow where the bird is leading him, where spirit is guiding him. There's been a lot of um, doubt about coming into a reconciliation and a renewal here. Okay, that's why this person is still integrating. So it hasn't manifested yet. Spirit's really bringing that forward. It's, it's getting very close to manifesting. So you may be feeling that. And, and I feel the confusion viewer that you're watching. They're, they're bringing this up a lot that you're not getting answers. And I know that can be frustrating, but that's why, because you're not meant to know right now um, because it's getting close. So you've got to refocus back onto yourself. Okay. Pile number two, we have here, it's getting close for union with the four of wands upright. So do not have doubts in this situation right now. There is a union that's coming forward, but you can't know. So I'm really getting pulled to tell you group number two, that if you're focusing on where you're not being shown or what you're not being able to see anything, spirit is like, that's, that's meant to happen right now. So you've got to, it's a refocusing back to yourself and not to have those, those doubts. So we have here, um, it's coming down that mountain now. So you see, she's about to set up camp and she's moving. Okay. So your person is moving in this connection, ready to set up camp somewhere else. Um, it's been a long journey down this road, but the light has been leading the way because the wheel has started to turn in this. And so spirit is saying, viewer, you are to also get ready and start cleaning house. I'm hearing you need to, uh, clear out your energy, focus on yourself because there is something that is coming towards this connection in a really powerful way and the wheel is turning and it's going to turn it's going to be very quick with this with this knight of swords energy here where you haven't heard communication and you haven't seen anything manifesting spirit is like that's a reason i gotta keep it from you because you guys in pile number two you you're sensitive you're picking up an energy you know and spirit is like you know and when you know um spirit knows how you know and spirit knows that you know that you know. You know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> you know that this is happening. This is why, uh, and I'm also saying that this is also spirit here. Look, <laughs> the hermit on the bottom. The spirit is saying, um, you know, you've been pulled back in this cave doing your work. And you're like, what? What is this energy? And spirit's coming through and kind of like shielding you here too with the divine masculine energy and this could be also an angel i'm also seeing another message like an angel coming in and just like shielding you and being like no 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 you're not gonna see it yet just hang tight it is your divine masculine it's a highly protected you're being protected right now you're and you're being protected from any energies that are clearing out from this as well so you're being highly protected viewer um and it's coming close to an end now Okay, the things are going to be revealed. So let's see what else spirit has to say about your connection and your person. They're they're being hidden too. Spirit is saying, right? Because they're moving, they're just following the signs, but they they don't realize those birds, those trails, right? Those feathers or whatever. I keep hearing feathers. If they're finding feathers on the ground or whatever else, it's like it's for you. 
it's leading back to you and they're hoping that it is but all they know is that they're following the signs and so they're being magically guided back and they have no idea that you're on the other end they think it's just like okay this is just part of my evolution path i hope it ends up in with that person but it's getting really close and viewer you're like why am i not like does my person not get it is my person not understanding what's going on? Like you may be in contact with your person. You may be dropping hints for some of you is what I'm seeing. And you're like, does this person not get it? They get it. <laughs> okay. It's kind of really cute and really sweet and an energy that I'm picking up and spirits like, Oh, my two little children. It's like, I got this. And we are, we're, this is a magical road and it's being hidden for a reason in this way. Okay. So let's see what else for pile number two what is going on for pile number two's person towards them please spirit what is going on with pile number two's person all right let's clarify this so things aren't grounding you may think like it's not it's shady i feel viewer you think like this is just shady this is just bull i'm not getting answers it's probably not meant to be the spirit doesn't want you to get detrimental about that they want you to get to refocus on yourself and your growth because they're hiding it for a reason. So let's take clarify that spirit. Yeah, because the cycle is coming to an end. There is a new beginning starting with the world card. So there are massive new cycles coming for you. Look at this, the Knight of Swords. Spirit is stabilizing this connection here with the Knight of Swords to, it can move very quickly. So if there's been back and forth energy, it's stopped now. And this is why you're not seeing any type of progression or you're not feeling anything. And it might be a little stagnant. Spirit is like, because it's getting ready to move this off with the Knight of Swords in a very profound way. We have the Knight of Swords too, very quickly. There's going to be some communication that maybe comes in as well. Spirit is saying very quickly, okay, um, in order to... Uh, yeah move it through very fast because it's going to be very swift it's going to take off so you may be feeling very stuck with the chariot in reverse being like nothing's happening why is nothing happening i don't understand this spirit's like you're not meant to know not right now you have to get into manifestation mode spirit is saying because creator is bringing this down with them with the wizard the, the with the ma magician magic is about to happen in this connection and neither one of you are knowing when how why and you're trying to probe the energies i feel like your person is um allowing it more than you viewer so they're manifesting you back they've been praying for you they want this and so they're following the trail of feathers they're following the birds i keep seeing the and i'm seeing also maybe stones at the beach and different signs like that are starting to show up too for your person leading them back to you i feel they work with stones as well and they may be um creating something for you there's something about that as well that they're getting all these cool little signs and uh yeah so this is manifesting spirit is saying clarify that yeah two of wands so it's like a contemplation here right that's been happening between um with your person back and forth do i do this do i go forward do i do this do i go forward and that's because they haven't been able to ground their their energy yet which is starting but see they're moving through this swiftly they're starting to ground they're starting to your person may have gotten like a new job or making more money and things are starting to pick up in their 3d world and it's starting to integrate is what i'm hearing and so they're moving into calmer waters now so they can come travel to you or come see you or come be with you and um they're saving that coin now is what i'm hearing so this is really beautiful. And this, when I created this, I, I picked the picture because of the empty boat. It's like, this boat is like God's boat that's coming to fill you up. It's like, what do you want to put in there? When it gets to the other side, what do you want to put in there? <laughs> you can put anything you want in there. Um, yeah, and so this back and forth is like, that's what's happening with your person. So they're getting their footing and it's happening in a very swift way. So your person is moving through some really blocked narcissistic type of energy selfish energy maybe they didn't realize do you hear that the birds guys the birds <laughs> that's insane um following the birds right that's what they're doing and doing it very quickly and swiftly and your person 
may have had like we all have narcissism in us okay like we're born that way like if you see a two-year-old that has a, a massive temper tantrum that's because they want it their way the world revolves around them children think that they're the the reason their parents had a divorce like we children internalize all those things it's very narcissistic that's part that's the root of narcissism is like you think the world revolves around you um, when you become a powerful manifester, you know your power, but you also know that everybody else has that power. There's no sense of competition anymore, right? That there's a sense of lack where children feel, feel that, you know, if you don't have something, then you don't get it. It's a sense of lack where it's a maturing process of the soul. And I'm saying that because your person has gone through that, realizing that there's abundance for everybody, that they were acting from a place of lack before, that they were acting from this uh, blocked, selfish energy because they felt that they had to hang on to what they had. And they've moved through this energy and realizing that they're moving into a new place of abundance that is open to them in so many ways. So something new, new things are manifesting in your person's life and it's giving them signs of where to go and they're following full wholeheartedly and it's actually leading them back to you. And that's what they're hoping, but they're, they're not fighting it here. Yeah, they're, they've been fighting it in the past, right? This energy, but this is more training spirit is saying. It's emperor. Look at this. He's been in training. The this is the, the five of wands isn't just about brutal fights. And when I created this card, she's like training like a warrior, right? She's more going to fight her battles, right? Uh, this person is like, even if the darkness rises up, I'm ready for it and I'm going to sludge it down and I'm going to fight and battle for it. And that's what this masculine is doing is battling for his enlightenment, battling and training in the energies right now so that he can ground this to come forward towards the viewer here, breaking down any foundations with the four of wands in reverse. Whoa. Opening up and letting go knowing where their alignment is and what they want to build so they're they're completely open to the new vibration and they're just like bring it now spirit i want i want this 10 of wands in reverse so spirit is saying their training is learning how to take better responsibility in their frustrations i think this is a hard thing in your connection this person doesn't want to take their responsibility or hasn't been able to take responsibility and not necessarily just in your connection alone spirit is saying it's also in life you know where they have to look at that's part of that narcissistic type of energy here you know that we all have to mature out of so this person may be coming close to a solar return is what i'm hearing you may want to look that up it's another growth process of the soul and they're realizing that they have been avoiding taking responsibility because we have the ten of wands upright in the future right that they know that this process is getting close to coming to an end so they're very close there's still some things that they're battling out here right in their heart chakra too it's an emotional realm spirit is saying that they're still learning like okay like <laughs> This is an old pattern that's manifested. How do I shift that now? And they're recognizing it because they're following the signs. So they're integrating, they're learning, they're getting signs. They're using their physical world as 3D manifestation. Yeah, the temperance on the bottom. They're learning their complete balance now, which is amazing. Um, yeah, queen of wands. I feel this is you, divine feminine that um, they want to balance because they see your power. You're like the queen of wands. And I'm not seeing this as karmic energy. I'm seeing this as like the brightness of your soul that they haven't focused and they haven't worked on this with you and nothing ever has gotten started. And they want this with you. They see you in this high priestess energy to their wizard energy. Wow. To their wizard energy. Look at this. They see that. So this is what they're moving towards. And this is what they're praying about with the King of Pentacles upright, right? With the tower in reverse, they're getting that internal change. There's still some breaking down that has to happen, but they are recognizing this about this connection. Okay. And so they're willing to battle it out. They're willing to learn. They're willing to train. They're willing to learn about their manifestations um, and their abilities. And they're completely open which is beautiful because that's what you really want. They're completely open to um, moving forward, right? And to doing this. So they haven't gone through a full renewal yet and reconciliation process, but that's their action. That's what they're coming close to building a new foundation and wanting union and coming very close to celebrating and ending an old cycle. We have the world here, right? That this is a cycle, a new cycle that is starting. And this is mother earth is coming very close. I feel this is earth energy. Um, not like a sign, 
like Capricorn or something, but I'm feeling it's like Mother Earth is helping both of you. Like you're both children of the Earth or here to do with Earth medicine or something to do with um, helping the Earth, helping the environment, um, healthy eating, that kind of thing is what I'm seeing. Okay. That's for some of you, right? Take what resonates. So yeah, we're here. Um, yeah, let's take a look at this renewal in a relationship, two of cups, right? So whatever karma has happened or anything that's out that's happened, that cycle is ending out. And as this progresses, spirit is like, you don't have to worry. This, this energy is flowing very nicely. This is a protected divine union connection. So both of you are mirroring super close, like so close. I can't even, it's like almost like you're an androgynous soul um, is what I'm getting. So I'm feeling like same sex or you both could be bisexual or you could both be transgender or whatever it is. And that's just for some of you, but you guys are fluid in yourselves. And there's something about an androgyny that's happening here. And that's that balance that's happening. The mirror is very close. So you're both moving in a very um, similar way here. And there's the bird. Reunion, three of cups. This is a, this can also be a friendship um, that it starts off as. And it builds very quickly, Spirit is saying. It's going to build very quickly. It's going to alleviate any of your instabilities. There is a foundation that needs to break down before a new one can be built up. There is an old foundation um, that wasn't built in divine that in divinity so one of you i think both of you because we're saying you're both doing it um one may be in a foundation but needs to rebuild and leave that foundation and the other one is learning how to build and follow the signs okay we have the hermit now in reverse so this is coming out of hermit mode for you guys. I'm not feeling it's a resistance of going in. If there is any resistance, spirit is saying, of going within and doing that work, um, it doesn't happen very long. You may get a, a quick, uh, I feel you guys are a very evolved group. Um, I'm getting with the viewer, your person is recognizing when a trigger hits. It's like, oh, wait a minute, that's an old thing. I need to, I need to figure that out. And you're doing the same thing as well to bring this together. What else, please, Spirit? There may be some regrets in like um, something traditional, like a marriage or ending a marriage and wanting to discover more. But Spirit is like saying that that energy, whoever is in a commitment is over and it's done with. Um, and this is like a slowly moving out of that. So that could be also why there hasn't been a full reconciliation yet of this connection because somebody is still cleaning that up. But it's done. Um, there is still a regretful energy here. What is this regretful energy? Yeah, but the passion is overtaking this connection for the Ten of Cups. So you don't have to worry about that, okay? This person, if there was a connection elsewhere, is like the regrets are being overtaken by this fire of God. It's like so potent. It's like, yeah, it's like they get a glimpse of this, you know, coming out of this cave and an old pattern may come up and they're like, Oh, I'm so sad I had to leave my husband or I'm so sad I had to leave my wife or and they're like oh wait a minute but this is so hot like this is so much better <laughs> like it's like kind of like that it's like you're seeing um your person you're feeling the energy and things are slowly moving into a new vibration so this is really beautiful and really positive um in the chat and if there are any are any challenges it's like it's like you're both swiftly moving through it and so viewer spirit is saying recognize that you've been doing your growth and you're like oh wow this is getting easier like i feel things lifting the energy is shifting spirit's like yes because your person's doing it too it's such a close mirror in this connection um so yeah the outcome here is like taking um the last remnants of those responsibilities, even though it can be hard. You're willing, you're willing. You're like, I've come this far. I'm willing to go the extra route. I'm willing to go. I mean, I have to still unpack this thing and set up camp, but I can do that. I mean, I've, I've walking down that hill was the hardest damn thing. And that's why the wheel is turning because neither one of you are shying away from the hard work of elevating your consciousness. You're willing to do that. Look at that. That divine masculine is doing that. Woo. 
water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to be, but definitely opening up. And like, I've never noticed this. He's got a tattoo here. So I feel like he's been scarred in his masculine side here and that he's going to, you know, he put a tattoo there to symbolize his divinity of his sensitivity of his abilities in the masculine energy, you know, that it was distorted or something like that very much. So, and he's recognizing that he is surrendering to this amazing union here and opening his heart very much so the wheel is turning yeah coming out of the hermit mode waking up from the darkness coming out of um the enlightenment stage because you've gained the enlightenment exactly with the sun the door has opened to a new vibration guys so keep flowing with what is happening. Your person is doing the same thing. They are hoping and praying that you're on the other end of finding those feathers and finding the signs and um, following spirit and however they're being guided that they that you are going to be on the other end. And the wheel is definitely turning in your favor. We have here the eight of wands. Spirit told me to take it upright that there is fast movement. You may have to travel. Your person may have to travel to come see you, but that is definitely going to be a thing. Um, there's going to be quick communication coming in once this um the grounding so it's like a process right it's like every day spirit is saying a little bit more is grounded a little bit more is grounded and it's picking up momentum and you will know when it starts to take off okay some of you may already be in communication but the communication may be don't try to push it it's going to be getting faster and faster we have the nine of pentacles in reverse so whatever you've attached to is to move through that very swiftly here so that wheel can turn okay guys first telling me to do this go within of any issues that's coming up see my i have doubles in this card so i mean my deck I haven't sorted. I've let, I've let, I have two decks. And so if they merge together, I'm like, I'm just allowing it because yeah, <laughs> spirit told me to. So I'm just going to do it that way. Um, yeah, there, there's this an ending of old ego ways, nine of cups in reverse. It's like, I want that 10th cup, right? That's that 10th cup here, right? It's like, yeah, these are wishes and this is beautiful, but it's like, that's, you know, everything but God's love. And I want God's love. Like I want it all. And that's what your person is desiring with you as well. Yeah. Both of you have gone through unrequited love situations that, yeah, look at this. Both of you, Spirit is saying, have gone through, you know, unrequited love that kept you stagnant in your, um, um, ascension process is what I'm hearing. And it's been stuck. So this is what both of you are realizing that Spirit is like, flip it. <laughs> you want this now, right? You want this love path. You want this um, beautiful reconciliation, this beautiful enlightenment, and to move through obstacles swiftly. And so because that is blocked, I'm just going to pull another card. Spirit is channeling. Because that is, because of conflict within self. So Spirit is saying those patterns, right? It's the integration process. It takes time to bring that down from the heavens. But that conflict is going to cause a Knight of Cups, an offer that's going to come in passionately. And because of that, you're going to be able to plan a future. Beautiful. So those conflicts, both of you are realizing, are tidbits of your own self and those triggers that were happening in your connection in order to move swiftly down this path. Really beautiful, guys. Really excited for you, pal, too. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like the video. It really helps my channel to grow if you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below, please. And if you would like to work deeper with me and catalyze your energy, um, I get specific teachings. If you feel like you're stuck and you need some help, send me an email or book a starlight package if you're a new client. And uh, yeah, email me if you have any questions about that. I'm sending you guys so much love. I am opening up readings probably come September time frame when my kids return to school because, yeah. <laughs> so if you want a reading, um, just subscribe because I will announce when I'm doing those again. Wow, we've got cards that fell out so what i am saying about nature mother earth is guiding this connector nature and effort so um however the earth is guiding you follow those signs follow how mother is fall is moving you and make the effort in this connection your person is already doing this so spirit was wanting me to let the viewer know you do this as well your person is in tandem with you okay what else for pile number two Self-discipline yourself 
and parent and taking care of yourself. Your person is learning that self-discipline is learning those rules of the 3D world and learning um, how to, you know, ground these things and nurture themselves as they integrate such a high vibration. Their person, both of you are very high vibrational, very twin flame energy is, is and sacred connection. And so when you're sensitive like that, it can be, whoo, it can be hard. And your person is very sensitive and trying to really ground that. They're doing a really good job, Spirit is saying, and taking care of themselves. I feel like I need a couple more, Spirit is saying. Yeah, there's a happy ending to old patterns, to the old ways of being. It's claiming, and look at the chakras, solar plexus galore here, guys. So that is empowerment, self-esteem, confidence. Your person is gaining a lot of confidence in their abilities and who they know themselves to be. And, and their heart chakra is ignited with Mother Earth and how to follow themselves. Like they're very in tune and how to take care of themselves and how to end things that, that are not good for them in their life. Give me one more about the happy ending. Spirit is saying they're persevering in their heart through that. So I wanted you to see that so you can understand that. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what is the hidden oracle here. The hidden oracle for pile number two. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Uh, yeah, and comment. Leave comments. I try to respond to every comment as much as possible. So I love conversing with all of you. Truly, truly, I do. So I do my best to keep up with those. What is going on for Pile 2's person, please, and this connection? Thank you, Spirit Pile 2. Thank you. Okay, wow. You guys are going to be impressed by this. The Hawk Prince. Spirit communication. Paying attention. The birds. Do you see that? The birds are coming through very, very strongly. The our guiding, the intuition, okay, is guiding your person and speaking to your person. And they are paying attention and they are following. They are not questioning where they are being guided. They know that this is sacred. They know that they want um, this type of um, connection. They do. They know this. They look, oh wow, this is a pair right here. Look at this, 11 and a 39, but this is the altar priestess, preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual. This is the divine feminine. Look at how powerful these two are. This one is learning to ground it. Your person is masculine energy, or it could be you, divine feminine, but both of you are learning how to ground it by working with the higher realms. This is a surrendering and listening to spirit and following, and the divine feminine is learning how to ground it in trust and to work in her powers, in her intuition, in her knowing, right? Beautiful energies, a transformation here with Lotus. These two go very well together. Preparation, prayer. This divine feminine is pre preparing doing sacred ritual, knowing that this is happening and the divine masculine is communicating and following the path and the path is leading to union. And I'll show you because a card came out for you about that. <laughs> we have the dragon's duel, inner conflict, mortality and conscious choice. These are the two dragons coming into union, Kundalini rising. And this is what I was feeling like, even though the conflict card came out, the five of, of swords here, right? The Knight of Cups, it's like love comes out of this conflict. There's offers of love that come out of this conflict for you. And both of you are realizing how to do this because it is highly protected. This union is highly protected. And I feel there's something awakening with the divine feminine energy here. And this masculine and, and spirit is really, you know, igniting feminine energy right now. That's really what I'm picking up from this card as well. Divine feminine, you're feeling it. You're feeling it, right? you're feeling this energy come around something has shifted and uh yeah any inner conflicts and things like that you're making a choice like okay this is something that's mirroring in the connection i need to look at it because it's an exact mirror it's an exact mirror it can feel a little strange at first right but i think you're starting to learn how to work in it that's why um that's happening that's why it's like you guys are very androgynous souls is what I'm feeling like such a deep parallel that's happening. So it's very much like interconnected. Cause look how these dragons are like their tails are completely entwined here. Okay. And I can't make this up. I'm going to pull this out. Now the sacred union card came up partnership and romance. Look at this. 
absolutely beautiful pile number two really beautiful energies let's get some messages from your person yeah that's where it's going you know i think i think you guys look similar like that one may have like lighter color hair kind of red auburn look and this is like dark hair could be not for everybody but yeah really beautiful whoop really beautiful yeah i felt like i needed to put that there let's get some messages from your person this is my mirrored messages deck they will be for sale soon you guys what is going on with pile number two? Remember when um, you get it in the white is masculine, the black is feminine. If you are divine feminine watching this and a white shows up, it means that that is the masculine speaking to you. And if it is a black, it is not you speaking to the masculine. It is the messages your masculine is picking up from you and vice versa. Okay. What is going on, please, for my viewer? What messages does their person have for the spirit? Thank you. This is pile two. What messages would like to come through from their person? Wow. All right. The masculine energy is really feeling what the divine feminine is sending. And so take it as it resonates, Divine Masculine. If you're watching this and you're a Divine Masculine, you are feeling this from your feminine, okay? You were the missing puzzle piece and you fit so perfectly. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. How are we having a conversation right now? <laughs> the telepathy is strong with you guys. Am I really talking to you inside of me? I hear you so clearly. So, yes, um, the telepathy is strong in this connection with divine feminine energy for sure. Your love opened my heart to a greater understanding of my soul. I wish it lasted longer than it did. I miss you terribly. I'm so sad right now. So, yeah, it's sad when you can't be together. And that's because this love is so pure. But keep moving forward through it, okay? And know that the connection is within. I am constantly replaying the past to see what I could have done differently. So there may be some regrets that we're working through, but you guys are moving through that very swiftly. I see that in this, in this pile. Masculine energy. You are the most beautiful incarnation of femininity I have ever been blessed to cross paths with. So beautiful. Oh my God, it's a beautiful way to end that reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment, let me know what you thought of this. And I'm sending you so much divine love. Bye guys. Hello, beautiful pile number three. You picked this beautiful tree with the citrine. It is actually made out of um, thread. This is all twine and rope together. It's pretty cool. Um, with the roots at the back. It's one of my favorite pieces. Um, so you pick that and you pick this beautiful picture, which I'm going to a channel now for your reading. This is, um, I'm feeling your person is feeling this connection uh, when they disconnect from their world. I feel you're like a secret place. Spirit is saying um, that they are realizing they can't stop feeling these emotions and whenever they're sad or they feel like they can't handle things they are definitely um, thinking of you okay um, <clears throat> this person is very distracted in their life I have a <clears throat> my throat is um, getting choked up so I feel like they they have a difficult time speaking up for themselves and they're starting to recognize that when they go into these dark places, they thought no one could understand them. Then your essence just wakes them up and they start to realize, wait a minute, when I close my eyes, I can actually feel this person's essence. I, I feel like I'm hearing they feel your breath on them or it takes their breath away <laughs> and they're coming into some type of understanding um, that it lights them up in their darkest moments and they're like there must be something to this so your person is still fighting the dualistic patterns is what I'm seeing in this connection between the dark and the light but they're starting to notice that 
there was some type of profound love or a connection when they're in those dark places. And that's what's new to them. Is what I'm getting. Oops. That will stay up. Perfect. So let's see. What is going on for pile three's person, please, spirit? What is going on for pile three's person towards the viewer? Thank you. So they're starting to get some type of feelings I'm getting. They're starting to build here. What is going on for pile three's person? What's going on for pile three's person? Thank you, spirit. How do they feel about the viewer? What is going on in this connection for pile three? Take it. That's a challenge, Spirit is saying. So we're gonna take it that way. Okay. Okay. So let's clarify. I'm just going to clarify each one. Clarify the challenge of the Seven of Swords. It's taking responsibility. Ten of Wands. The Chariot is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse, clarified by... The Eight of Cups in reverse and the... Eight of Swords or eight eight. That's about abundance, guys. Eight eight. Eight of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Four of Cups is clarified by the Six of Cups and the Three of Swords is by the Queen of Swords. Okay. I feel like this person is in a very challenged position right now. They're in a lot of pain, um, and they're getting stuck in a loop is what I'm getting. Um, I just did a reading about the psychological loop. You may want to watch that, those readings. I did a part one and a part two. The DM is stuck in a psychological loop with the karmic. Um, and I'm kind of like picking up something like there's dark, but when they, when they need to disconnect from what's going on in their world, they know that it's you. We have the magician in reversed. So we have some type of manipulation that's happening. Um, could be dark magic if that's if I mean this is a general read so it can be that it can be that um, there's just emotional manipulation or physical abuse somewhere that's going on with this person <sighs> domestic violence or something like that so yeah that came up in the read so yeah, I would suggest go watching that part one and part two this person is having a hard time your person is having a hard time being honest with themselves, but it's a good thing that it's in the challenge position. They're not fully being honest. It's like that in-between stage that I was getting in that conflict. It's like they're in the material world, and then when they can't handle it anymore, they get so overwhelmed, they're recognizing you in these dark places that they're going within themselves. And it's starting to create... Um, yeah, it's starting for a lot of burdens for them, but they're starting to realize that they have to take responsibility because this isn't going away. So that's the recognition that they're having, that this connection with you is not going away. They may have um, taken off, is what I'm seeing. They may have ghosted you pretty quick and left with that chariot. They're like, no, I'm going in the complete opposite direction. And it caused a lot of pain here. And they didn't realize, is what I'm seeing, the pain that they caused until now like it's starting to hit them their karma is starting to catch up with them um they know that they didn't work and they didn't put the focus and the effort and they're starting to recognize your worth now your person is having an awakening process here or they're on the brink of a massive awakening they're in a lot of pain here they're they can't sleep at night they're having anxiety i feel this person may already have anxiety issues and are a little bit skittish in their confrontation and that kind of thing so they try to avoid a lot of things and so spirit is bringing up that they've always had some of them may be taking anxiety medication okay i don't and that's for you'll know if that's your person but or they have started okay um because their current world is very difficult i've never noticed that there's a white bird here so it's almost like all these black birds are around your person and they can't sleep and here comes spirit in dreamland trying to uh, heighten their energy and be like you don't need to be playing in this 
okay? And this is where they're feeling a little guilty now because they're like, I just left and I never gave this person the time of day or I didn't work on it with them. I didn't focus on this with them and they're having a lot of regrets here now is what I'm getting from your person. Um, just for them to feel you again has been a big deal because they have repressed that. But they're starting to... I just did a post on that. Spirits bring up about Pandora's box. They're just opening up to that again. They're like, oh, oh, this is my person. And so in the middle of the read is that they know that they pushed this ton of cups away, you know, and they know now because they pushed this beautiful love that this was everything that they could have had with you. I'm also feeling same sex for some of you, okay? And we have... Um, yeah, these two little children and the family and mm-hmm. That this could have been every single thing that they wanted. And they didn't accept it and they didn't take it and they just ra I feel like this person may have made a rash decision. They're just now not going there and done. And they just left. Like they didn't think about it. It was a rash decision. I think this person acts in flight or fright or flight mode and they're like, nah uh uh, I'm out of there, you know? I'm oh, sorry, I need a drink of water between um, the readings I've been doing. So yeah, um, this person wants to come back. Um, they had walked away. Someone had walked away here. And um, they're regretting that walking away. And they now realize that they have to actually untrap themselves if they want this because they pushed it away. Right? They, they've looked at themselves in the mirror and they're like these energies are binding me here. And I, I can't deal with this anymore and I need to figure out how to actually untrap myself out of this and they haven't been able to do that yet they know that this is what they have to do but they haven't quite been able to do that yet and so here they're looking at their past and their regrets now this is they're in a your person is in a in a timeline revel, um, revelation process so this person, yeah, is really looking at the past here and looking at their patterns and having a lot of regrets and what they've done now. It's caught up to this person. Um, we're going to clarify in a bit, but yeah, they're, and so they're completely heartbroken. They may have chosen somebody over you and they realized I made the wrong choice here. And if it's not that they chose something, they chose uh, like a... An old pattern you know they they realize that they were too hasty and what they've done and they're realizing that now because of the seven of swords challenge is to get honest with themselves and spirits like are you gonna be honest with yourself um, because they're feeling you they're going through a really hard time in their physical world and whenever they disconnect or they I'm seeing they're trying to meditate and whenever they get into those places of like meditating or calming themselves they're they're coming to a place of like wow um yeah this is I'm feeling this person I'm feeling the viewer um, we have the three of swords again on the bottom here. So they're in a lot of pain and agony, guys. Nine of swords and the three of swords twice. Yeah, they're having, they're going through it, pile three. They're going through it, okay? Let's get some clarification here. What is going on with pile three's person towards them? And what is going on in this connection, please, spirit, with pile three? Thank you. So let's clarify that seven of swords and the ten of wands, please, spirit, that they're having a hard time. Yeah, they may have blocked you here. They probably stopped talking to you, stopped ghosting you. Um, they didn't want to discover this with you. They didn't want to talk about it. They didn't want to go deep with you. This person is having all of these realizations about this connection now and what's going on. You may have had a family with them. This may have been a foundation. They may have left you. Um, a relationship. Yeah. They weren't honest in this um, commitment or a marriage. Or I'm also getting some of them may have already been in a commitment in a marriage and they decided that they just couldn't do this with you because it was too much and they just they just jetted is what I'm hearing just jet and um, if you have a home and had children with this person it's like they did the same thing they just jetted they just like boom I'm out of there and um, got pulled into something else they made a very rash decision is what I'm getting here 
and they're having regrets they have to take yeah they're now looking at the truth with the ace of swords on the bottom because they're depressed with the sun in reverse it left them very untethered and ungrounded and unstable they're losing money is part of their karma okay um with this yeah they're going through massive challenges with their money as well yep yeah, because here's karma because here's the wheel turning spirits like you can't do that you can't do what you've been doing so they're getting they're getting the brunt of it in their physical reality it's hitting manifestation mode they're experiencing it and um let's clarify that ten of pentacles with the yeah they may have ended a commitment here or a marriage and um for a relationship right and it may have been a rash decision for some and for others it may be that you found out that they were married and um, they weren't honest with you or they decided to stay in a marriage instead of ending it um, and not learn their lessons about what this stability could have been for you because whatever it was they just made a rash decision, rash decision got out of there and so they quickly moved on they didn't work on this okay we have the collaboration and community they may they may be well known in the community and they may um they were too afraid spirit is saying of what other people were going to think so they didn't work on this and it was very painful they just quickly went back to their old way of, of life it could have been a, a work situation people that they work with people it has something to do with their work is what i'm getting they could be entrepreneur they could be um high in the government or high in their career and they're like i can't do this like what are people going to think of this and they figured with their um look we have nine of swords in reverse okay if i just suppress that and um they're going back and forth and they're like you know i'm just going to move through this and i'm just going to debate on how i'm going to move forward and i'm going to just suppress this pain I'm not going to think about it, but what's happening is because they didn't work on it, work on it, they are getting pain. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm going to suppress, even though this is painful, I'm going to shove it down. Um, yeah, we have the eight again, the eight of swords in reverse. So, uh, which is here on the next one. So they know that they have to untrap themselves. What they were doing in this situation was they thought they were untrapped by running from you. They thought, nah, that's a trap. They didn't trust the energy at all okay it brought up too much truth they had to look at themselves and they didn't want to do that so they're like nah i'm out of there but that actually what's they thought that they were untrapping themselves and so yeah they jetted nine of wands passionately and actively just moved the hell out of there and they contemplated what were they contemplating here spirit they're contemplating about what they wanted to create in the world and you didn't maybe you didn't fit what they thought their idea of what they wanted was you know and um i think it may have started off you know solid or i feel like you were kind of surprised by this but they looked at their finances they were looking how they could make money is what i'm getting and they wanted to create more of that they weren't able to be grounded their ego was running all over the place you know and um they wanted to get their hands in on everything is what i'm seeing and this they felt maybe this would have trapped them so like no that's a trap i'm out of there so they felt that that was a trap and they wanted more freedom but what they're realizing is it caused them more pain clarify that nine of swords up right now so they try to suppress the pain when they did that to you and now they're like wow in pain because they made that decision wow with the lovers and the lovers is about a choice right so they're really highly in a lot of pain energy they haven't hit the ten of swords yet guys they got to hit the ten of swords so your person is starting to recognize this and what they're doing and it's a very hard place to look at your own shame and guilt about things so this is where they're at they know they push this ten of cups god's love they know and so they want to return to the past they want to try to figure out how can i actually untrap myself now because me thinking that this person was a trap i trapped myself and because they thought that they thought they trapped themselves they ended up trapping themselves right so now they have to untrap themselves wow and they trapped themselves from abundance right the eight of cups and the eight of swords and lots of eights infinity this is a very sacred connection and so now they don't know what to offer you how to offer you they're pulled in different directions right again you may want to listen to part two of that 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 reading the psychological loop thing is what i'm getting for this group because um this is uh 
they don't know how to come clean now or what to do now because they're not sure about themselves and how to deal with whatever they've built up or whatever they've done since you guys were together ace of cups right they they definitely desire you and want these things with you but they're having some issues here yeah about abandonment issues and how to give to you now because they've turned their back on the light here see they didn't realize there's a light back here they turned their, their back on it and they're completely abandoned and it's re-triggered their abandonment issues here we have how can they give so he's they're in an emperor mode here for the queen of cups you are the queen of cups um and they're ready to rise right but they're they're, they're highly trying to control the situation still and so they have to learn how to surrender they haven't surrendered to the divine feminine in this connection yet we have the divine feminine sitting here with this egg and saying i'm the fertility goddess i'm the one that that births everything and so she she has to own her power as well because this egg has not cracked open yet is what i'm seeing so there's still some growth here of surrendering on both both sides but i'm seeing this person your person is um yeah not able to surrender right now they're still in a dark place with the moon they're trying to still work through their shadows they know here about what they lost from the past okay and um the loyalty that they've lost but I'm feeling this is more about things that they have been um, nostalgic about in their life that they may have to leave behind. <sighs> this is some heavy energy. They know now that they have to actually leave things and people behind in order to move into this um, new vibration. What is this about? Please start. I've got the four of cups with the six of cups. Yeah. To bring any proper justice to the situation. Balance. They have to let go of some type of um, old, sensual, lustful ideas, uh, distorted masculine, ruthless energy. The King of Wands in reverse is not just about sexuality. I'm seeing like power and control and overly powerful, a power struggle. They This person is highly um, a distorted masculine in the sense of, of um, being successful and distortion of what a masculine is it's like you know men have to be the strong man it's like a machoism that's happening but justice is coming forward to balance this out and this is something they learned from the men in their life is what i'm getting they were very maybe powerful men and you don't show your feelings and this regret that's happening is like when they are now recognizing when they go in they're feeling something shift because it is you the viewer that they're feeling and so this is a very aggressive energy of power and it's more about money is what i'm getting spirit is saying it's their challenge here is to stop fighting that with the five of wands they're in between yeah they're trying to gain clarity so they're trying to align their heart and their mind um with the king of swords here so they're trying to com they may be communicating with you um but they may be communicating with the past still is what I'm getting because they're in an in-between stage. They're not fully <clears throat> merged in themselves. So they're moving between their physical manifestations of what they've already built. And then they're recognizing something is changing on the inside and they don't really know what's changing on the inside, but it has something to do with you. And they know that, and they know that they made a wrong decision or they made a rash decision and they just don't know how to fix it now is what I'm getting. Yeah, they feel like a complete utter failure and realize when you have an aggress and they're in imbalance with the temperance so you have to understand when you have a king of wands in reverse and they're really um in a powerful uh distorting power right you have to re and machoism and things like that and not that they were disrespect women but they may have some sexual deviance in disrespecting women and get off on that that may be something with your person but whatever those distortions are and this justice that's coming in it's a really hard blow to that high ego right it's like they're falling off their pedestal so they feel like a failure they feel like this is imbalanced and uh spirit is saying that it's um causing a lot of issues for them and so they may be still be attached to the past here they're so regretful attaching to the past they know they have to stop juggling this, okay? 
and they know that they have to end this nine of cups, right? They know they have to end their old material world for their empress, but they still have attachment to a dream here, to an illusion, right? And that is that distorted masculine energy. They're losing their identity. And this is what scares your person is this loss of identity is what I'm getting. So this is a karmic energy that they're heartbroken about too. Let's clarify that because it's the past that they have to end this conflict here. Five of swords, three of swords. They're really heartbroken about the third party situation or what they have to do in the past. And the reason for that heartbreak you need to understand is like they know who their person is. They know who this empress is. But that means that they have to break their machoism ego down in that power right down. And then that's a sense of loss. The ego grips so tight, right? That's what happens here. Yeah, look at this. The devil, obsessive behavior. Obsessed with the past because something from the past played into this power and control. Played into, like I'm hearing, like either BDSM. And not that BDSM is bad. You can do it in a healthy way. There's light and dark to everything. But this person is in a distortion masculine energy. And so there's a lot of power struggles that are happening with this individual because of the control that they try to hold. So the viewer spirit is like, you've got to hold your power more if then this is your divine masculine. Yeah. They want to work on this with the divine feminine here. So they are focused and willing to work on it and break things down. But that's their challenge here that they have to take responsibility in order to invest and move something tangible in the physical earth plane. But the karmic and the energies from the past are still holding them back. They're trying to open up their heart more. And to end the seven of swords that was the challenge that we saw that they were having that as a challenge right that seven of swords that first card that came out that's why we're gonna stop that reading i think soon because that's a challenge for them is to get honest with themselves it's starting to open they're starting to surrender that but it that's the challenge that they're happen that's happening because they're having yeah they're right in the middle of going through a massive awakening right now this tower is coming it's it's about to hit them up all right um it's about to break the hell down it's going to be a hard breakdown i'm going to tell you for this masculine um this masculine energy or your person um it is divine masculine but it, your person is going to have a hard breakdown of letting go of that power that's very stuck very fiery energy very stuck here even though chariot is a water sign but I created with a lot of fire um, for a reason, obviously. So there's a lot of breaking down for this person. So yeah, pile three, I, I feel they're recognizing who you are to them. They know you're, they made a wrong choice. They're recognizing that and they're now working through some massive issues. Yeah, uh, there's been a relationship change here and that's from moving from third party into who they know they're meant for. So this, this pile is really, um, yeah, if you're having a hard time with the transition, guys, um, hit me up for a coaching session. Things shift very quickly with my clients. Take a look at my, my website. You can read all the testimonials. I just posted one in the community tab as well. You can take a look at what my clients say about me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Guys, that would be great. And comment. I love to hear your comments and I love to interact with you. So let's take a look here. And yeah, if you want to work with me, just email me or take a look at my website. All the info is down below. Okay, so let's see what's going on for pile three's person, please, towards the viewer. What is going on with pile three, please? Yeah, they want, all oh, look. They, wow, they're getting down. They're getting hit by spirit. Okay, I'm going to tell you that right now. They are getting hit left, right, and center here. They want domestic harmony, okay? They're changing their relationship status. They're end, they, they, know, they know they have to end certain karmic energies. It's very difficult right now because they're torn between two worlds, but they know they have to do this if they want any kind of harmony in their life, okay? Um, they're trying to change. They know they have to, but they're pulled again. So if you see like you're feeling that back and forth, do that runner chaser dynamic or that push and pull, this is the energy that's happening now between old world, new world, you know, old way, new way, ego, breaking of the ego. That's what's happening. They want forgiveness for their actions. 
because yeah they're trying to cl figure out who they are that's what i was feeling it's like this is a break of who they've ever been who they've been raised to be what who their the men in their family are like and that's that's a huge pattern to break and they want forgiveness for how they've actioned in this life with you and how they've um you know made a rash decision here they know they made a bad decision and it wasn't bad, to be honest. It was to bring this about. Whoever that they were um, attached to and what they're still trying to work through that attachment is waking them up. So try to see it as a gift because they know where the mistake is. And they understand that it's been a mistake, okay? But we can't get trapped into those physical feelings because there is something that that's greater that's happening to this person he's this person is this masculine your person is going through a massive awakening process right now especially with that tower that came out this is the hidden oracles let's see what is coming through for pile number three please with the hidden oracles please what is going on for pile number three what is going on for pile three please and then we'll get some messages from your person Pile three's person, what is going on, please? Wow, guys, Aww. this is you know, I feel bad. This person is really trying, okay? They're going between two worlds and they're really trying, so be patient, okay? I know, send love, hold love, be in your power. Um, they're really trying to change. They want forgiveness. They want reprimandation. They want to go through, you know, they are pulled back to the past, but you can't focus on that with this person. They're really trying to heal their ways. Okay. You're going to have to, this person is taking small steps. They're still a little boy. They're still trying to mature into a true divine masculine energy. We have small steps and asking for help. So this masculine is going to need help. You know, again, if you are with your masculine, you need coaching. I do coach couples together too into divine union so you know if that's something we can definitely you know email me but this is like small steps and really taking it slow you know we have here the resting tree patience and stillness you know this is time to take a breather and to sit with you know the feelings and the emotions and allowing them to purge this person needs a purge this person needs a healing if you want to do a, a, a ceremony with me too, hit me up. Um, I'll be returning to Canada in August and running ayahuasca again coming towards the end of this year. So, And I run psilocybin ceremonies too. So if you want to attend, let me know because this person might need a psychological break for some of you. Um, we have to break the psyche and the mind to, re -find our, to find ourselves again. And this person is going through that's going to take patience and stillness and lots of love and tenderness and an allowing and a friendship and allowing the purge to happen because there's a massive purging that needs to come through but look at this this is a partnership and a sacred union that's coming about it's just really beautiful and this is about coming together okay guys but this this person is going to it's going to take time for this person they're they're going to need to ease into this okay we have the chess queen trust and strategizing so the spirit is saying this is, you know, uh, for both of you to take it slow and to trust the process and to work together and what's good for both of you and how to create a safe place. You know, especially if your person does reach out, um, if you're still communicating, is to try and figure that out and be patient and to hold that place for each other to discover that. And if you're not in... Um, communication and you're in separation is how to do this for yourself and how to trust um that spirit is guiding this and to strategize your own life and learn about your own boundaries and how to create um your own power and embody that how to not create your own power but how to access your power and to embody that okay yeah i help my clients with that too so yeah all the info is down below let's take a look don't forget to like subscribe guys let's see what messages come through for your person oh pile three your person is really struggling so i'm sending lots of prayers and love let me know how this resonated for you what is going on for pile number three please if it is white it is divine masculine energy if it is black it is the divine feminine this is my mirrored message deck and so if you are divine feminine watching this and you get a black feminine card it just means that that is the energy has reached your divine masculine 
and they are feeling you on the inside and vice versa. Okay, and if it's white and it's a divine feminine asking, it means it's a direct message from masculine to you. What is going on for pile threes person, please? What messages would they like to say to the to the viewer, please? Pile three, please, spirit. What is going on? What would they like to say? Wow, we've got quite a bit. Okay. We've got a mix match here. So we have here divine masculine energy. Our love has taught me to feel again. Thank you for being you. So yeah, that's what I was feeling here. That when they are pulled away from the mist of the world and they go within, they feel you in that picture there. Divine feminine energy. All I can do is pray and surrender to a higher power. Yeah. And that's how it ends up is asking God to come in and help. Right. And, and, the, and the masculine is feeling that within themselves as well. Masculine energy, divine masculine. I need you to trust what I am doing to heal. I don't process and heal the same as you. Yeah, so this person does not heal the same way, and it's going to take them longer. And so that's why I'm feeling the friendship and the openness and holding that space in your heart for yourself and for your person. It's being able to do that. Um, yeah. I'm constantly replaying the past to see what I could have done differently. Yeah, that's that wrong choice. Knowing that they messed up, trying to take ownership for it now. It's really hard. They're feeling really detrimental about it. Divine Feminine, I am so angry about our situation. I am doing my best to heal this. I know you feel my anger, but I also know I have to express it in order to heal it. So, yeah, Divine Feminine, if you are feeling anger, you know, your masculine will feel it and vice versa. The masculine is feeling that on the inside. So this is a healing. Both of you are in a transition piece of healing this. So there's some heavy energies here, but it's transmuting. And... Um, yeah, this is going to take kindness and gentleness and perseverance, but things are changing. So for a divine sacred union here. Okay, so much love, pile number three. I'm sending you so much love. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello, pile number four. <clears throat> this is, <clears throat> there goes my throat. Some communication wants to come in, pile four. Um, this is your pile if you picked these beautiful Amazonite beads from the Amazon. Um, with this crystal, these prayer beads. It is my favorite piece, which I actually don't wear that often. <laughs> so I wear these as decoration. And um, we have here your picture that you picked. And <clears throat> I feel this person, your person, is a lot of remorse. I'm also feeling that they, they're they having a hard time staying away from communicating with you right now. <clears throat> because my throat just started like, <clears throat> yeah, closing up on me. And I feel this person is coming, um, getting guidance from, if you see all these different eyes, they're getting insight, they, they know. It's like over and over, it's like they can't get away from the signs. Spirit is like, boom, 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 boom. You need to communicate. You need to speak your truth. They're very wounded. Uh, they've gone through a, quite the battle, is what I'm seeing a warrior here. And very sad and very um, wounded, okay? They may not feel ready to come forward, which is why they're resisting, but Spirit is pushing them that their healing is going to come when they come forward i feel this person has a high stature and wants to be completely perfect and ready for you um but spirits like that's gonna take too long like you need your person <laughs> like you guys need to be together to do this healing and that's what i'm getting from your person so they're resisting because they they it's not that they don't feel good enough in their self-esteem for you i feel like that's already established what they're feeling is like i'm completely broken i can't come to this person like this we have eight of cups I already shuffled the deck eight of cups on the bottom but we're gonna shuffle again because they walked away or you know there was a separation here so let's see what else spirit has to say this is for pile number four please what is going on for pile number four with their person what is going on for pile number four please with their person thank you what is going on for pile number four thank you spirit what is going on for pile number four? 
Okay, let's come out for, whoa! <laughs> Pod number four, getting to a very quick start here. Yeah, see, they wanna come for, they wanna come forward, all right? I think they're gonna have quite a bit to say here in the cards. It's like sticky, ener sticky, sticky energy. Um, yeah. Five. Wow, they have a lot to say to you, okay? Um, so <laughs> this is going to be a big one. Pile one was a big one too, so we got to take it how, how it comes. So they have a story for you. <laughs> um, we're going to clarify, but we have the Page of Swords, Ten of Wands in reverse, Nine of Cups, the Eight of Wands in reverse, the King of Wands, the Three of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Wands, the Three of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. There is a, a complimentary uh, soulmate connection here that's happening. Um, but we have two people, two queens. So this is a choice that's divided by a heartbreak between a past energy and the divine feminine energy. So this is about a karmic read. So if that's not your situation, I'm sorry. You may want to pick another pile. This is about a third party that is involved. Let's take a look here with, uh, let's clarify each one. Clarify the page of swords, please. <clears throat> they really want to talk about something, about a new beginning here with the fool and the moon in reverse, okay? So they're coming out of the dark night of the soul. We have uh, an ending a lot of darkness. What is the ten of wands in reverse? We have the star. We have the ten of the devil and the star. Wow. Wow, wow. What is going on with the nine of cups, please? For this pile number four, please. Quite a lot. This person has a lot to say. This person did not express themselves to you. They they suppressed everything. They didn't want to talk to you. They didn't give you anything. And now they have a lot to say. We have justice. The Five of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they want to end the separation here, guys. What is this Eight of Wands in reverse? Oh my God, there's so much, guys. The Chariot in reverse with the Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Magician in reverse. Wow. They try to manipulate the situation. This person may have even done spell work on you. We have the Devil here, too, with the Star. So that's trying to manipulate destiny. Hmm. Interesting. What is this King of Wands, please? Oh my God. This is like a little too much, but Spirit wants me to take it. So there's like five cards here. We're going to take it. I'm going to see how I can fit it onto here. King of Wands with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Hierophant with the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Six of Wands. Clarify the three cups in reverse. This this person has not said anything to you. We have the hangman. Clarify the queen of wands, please. The page of pentacles in reverse and the five of cups. The three of swords, please clarify. The ten of swords in reverse with the nine of wands and the two of wands in reverse. And clarify divine feminine here with the queen of pentacles. Thank you. We have death the wheel in reverse oh my god the sun in reverse the knight of wands in reverse the wheel in reverse and death okay uh, this person got a lot to say i was gonna say it's like verbal diarrhea in the cars like seriously i can't even with this spirit is saying here that they've walked through some dark night here they want to start a new beginning they want to discover themselves so whatever this person was in very heavy heavy energy this is a very sacred um, masculine energy your person's very sacred or um whoever you're looking for okay um, or divine feminine energy, whoever your person is. But I am feeling Mex uh, mas Mexican. I'm sorry. I'm feeling masculine. Oh my God. I'm feeling um, a divine masculine. So I do channel more the collective for the divine feminine. So I am sorry. That's just part of my path. The sisterhood of the divine feminines is more of my path. So I'm sorry for masculines that are watching. So I tried to channel, but I can't. That's just not my calling. So yeah, this masculine definitely is coming through a dark night here and wants to discover more. With the Ten of Wands in reverse with this devil energy and the star, I feel that they haven't taken responsibility yet for their choice 
they were shown destiny and they were shown something very toxic and they got persuaded into the toxicity and they haven't quite owned up yet it has been very difficult i feel that they may have tried to change their destiny their trajectory is what i'm hearing and they haven't taken responsibility over that even though they've come they're just coming out of the darkness and they know they want a new beginning here with you they haven't taken that responsibility piece which is why they haven't talked to you yet um we're going to clarify obviously this table is going to get very full very quickly. It already is full. And so they know what they wish. They want this karmic justice and to return here to end separation. So they know that they want this. They've made this decision up already. They know they want to come forward. But they know the reason why they haven't taken responsibility over their toxic toxic behaviors and to heal this and to move into their destiny is because they need to talk to you. They need to communicate this to you. That's when they'll get their justice. They're not going to get their justice any other way because of what they've done to their divine feminine. So this is a return here, okay, that they want to do this. We have the magician in reverse. This person has been dealing with dark magic. I'm going to say that now. If that doesn't resonate with you, I'm sorry. This person is magical. This person has a spirituality practice already. They're doing stuff. They're meditating. They're, they're manifestors. They're working on their manifesting skills. And spirit is like saying the signs that they kept getting in their manifestations was, what did you do to your divine feminine? What did you do to your sacred union? What did you do? And there's blood. He's breaking. He's got blood on his hands here. He's, he's shedding. We have here tears of blood okay because he had to purify himself things remain stuck here nothing moved for the, your person completely halted okay so that this person could open up okay um, because they tried to manipulate the energy this hierophant is over here so yeah because they tried to manipulate the energy they misuse their spiritual practices they misuse the laws of karma they misuse the laws of, of traction they were trying to change destiny and you can't do that your soul knows what your soul knows you can't manipulate that and i feel they've done this with a partner and did black magic on the viewer okay they made this this masculine was naive and listened to whatever everybody else told them is what i'm getting they just believe whatever everybody told them and he believed these people were good he was very naive he didn't see the darkness he didn't realize that there were people that intentionally work in dark darkness and um he opened up to it and he got burned bad that's why he's so burnt here that's why he knows that he has to take this responsibility now to get his to save his soul literally to save his soul okay because this masculine here okay pride he has to turn his back on his pride and ego he has to turn his back on that the pride and ego is the lion he he can no longer give to a marriage here we have the hierophant okay um and a commitment and a marriage okay because it's keeping him trapped here look at this with the eight of swords completely bind it and this is magic black magic is what i'm getting here he was binding and doing mirror spells to bind the divine feminine to bind him into this marriage he was binded into this energetically and that's another reason why he couldn't action and come forward to the to his counterpart he knows he has to end this ten of pentacles in reverse this foundation in order to be victorious and to gain his reprimandation his his um renewal but for him to succeed anywhere in life because everything has has um stopped for him has halted god has put a halt on this divine masculine for what he has been doing and playing and, and avoiding all of these signs. Your, your person has been getting sign after sign after sign after sign. It's not going away. They're trying to make it go away because they are scared. They're afraid of this power. They're afraid of this connection. And um, they're waking, they've woken up to it now. That's why they're, they know they have to come forward. And they're completely broken they're completely broken about it okay we have here this three of cups in reverse with the hanged man so they ended um this friendship with you they ended a connection with you and they have been stuck since so just be aware the viewer you have grown you have changed your person has not they have been fighting this for a long time okay 
So remember, when they come back, you need to be very, not weary, but you have to be aware of the energy of where your person is at. Twins mirror. Some twins don't. If you have a really solid masculine who is more predominantly masculine and a very divine feminine who is predominantly more feminine, they are on both extremes of the spectrum. We have androgynous souls that meet definitely in the middle. You know, they can be same sex and transgender and whatnot. And they can inter interchange and be very in the center and mimic and move and parallel very easily and mirror very closely but there are so many i'm showing you two examples and then you've got the extreme ones you know that are very masculine and very feminine and i feel this is a very masculine a very feminine and so divine feminines i'm feeling the viewer you have done that work in your femininity this masculine has not done that okay so you've got to be aware of what they're coming with because they're stuck They've gained enlightenment, but they couldn't move forward. Spirit would not let them move forward. They were given a gift and they betrayed it. And so they've been hung like this for a very long time. The blood has rushed to their head. That's what I'm seeing to purify them. Blood is life force. That's why they're breaking out in this blood. It's breaking. It's seeping from their tears because they realize what they've done. Okay. We have here the karmic energy that they know that they have to reject and they're having regrets about rejecting this they're sad about what they've lost because i feel like it's not necessarily the person i don't think they give a crap about the person like i don't feel that with this person i feel like they know it was toxic they know that it was the devil i feel that they were trying to make something work and maybe trying to heal that person and trying to make it work but they know you're their person their regrets Okay, it's like they wasted all this time on this person. And they're also feeling that um, they invested in something that just wasn't ever moving. And they're just, and they're like, this is what's going to be happening. Like, it's just never going to move. It's never going to get better. It's just going to stay like this forever. And this person has realized that, right? With this karmic energy that they, and they regret, they regret what they've done to this person because i feel like this person here is um kind of went darker once they got with with your person because they were already unhealed they already had dark attachments to them but they hadn't healed but the deeper they went the more they vessel dark entities and now they're in a worse place because they partook they partook i'm hearing with spirit with your person to cut this because I feel they felt that this divine feminine energy was toxic and was hindering them. There was a lot of illusions in this, okay? A lot of dark energy that's been playing in this connection, okay? So this is a, a, a group for, this is a, you know, for a select, select few, but as, if it's resonating, you know. So there's just a lot of like shadiness that was going on, but this, they feel bad because they house more demons in this person and they feel responsible now because i feel it was your person's idea like yeah let's manifest let's do this spell let's do this not knowing how to work in energy and then realizing it caused more trauma and trauma drama in their life and then their person couldn't keep up with because this person is like magical and has a higher frequency and is able to do this this person cannot and um they may have, I, I feel like maybe this person, the, the karmic initiated it and they just went along with it. And then they just, your person discovered their power in it and then took off and it left this person like fighting and fending for themselves because they couldn't handle it. They thought they could, but they couldn't. So they instigated it. Your person followed through with it. They gained more power and momentum in it. And um, it just created this massive timeline of shit i'm just gonna say it of shit like just grossness and just that so this um energy here being heartbroken here this your person is completely heartbroken and they know that they have to clean up the betrayal in their life now and they are starting to persevere through them they've made the decision to do that and the reason for that is because they know they have to reject this karmic energy now and they have to end this third party situation. They have to claim, um, they have to clean up all the betrayal on both ends, what they've done to this person, right? Leading them on, pretending like, yeah, we're whatever. This, this person was trying to change destiny. This person has a lot of ego, this person has a lot of ego. They know that they were powerful, but they, they didn't, they were not humble to the power. They misused their power and this karmic energy misused it with them. And 
what I'm getting here is they had a lot of ego thinking that they could change God's will. They had a belief system that you can manifest whatever you want. A lot of people believe that, right? But you got to work in dark energies to push against God's will, right? Because when you become humble to the creator and the real mother and father, well, then you tap into your abundance, to your real, you know, um, your, your real destiny, your fated destiny, what you're meant to be doing here. And then it will flow and you'll get it and you'll be happier. But this person didn't want to do that. They wanted to fall into the dark end of, of law of attraction and work with that and get whatever the hell they want and create it and basically bypass the viewer and didn't realize how much it killed them until nothing happened, nothing manifested. So I think there was a lot of spell work that happened here over and over and over again. And it just kept coming back and hitting, <clears throat> there goes my throat again, hitting these two over and over again until they had a real, this masculine had a realization. Here's the divine feminine sitting all beautiful. Look at her. Yes, queen sitting all beautiful. Like, yeah, just try to throw that black shit on me. Just try, try to blow, throw that dark magic on me. I am the queen of it all. You can't do that. Right? Her antenna is up. She can feel it before it even hits her. Her hair is wisdom. She's covering that up. She's like, I know what you're doing to me. Okay. This masculine is very sad and depressed that he turned his sun down. Sun set. The sun went down when he rejected this divine feminine. Right? The in and out. He has to stop this because look at this. He has to put an end. Look at this. The wheel never turned for him with this. He did an action. He didn't take the passionate action that he knew he should have. He denied the illumination. He denied that uh, happiness. He denied, he ran from true love. He denied all of it. He denied the divine feminine and the wheel just would not turn. Karma would not turn for this person until he ended and transformed his ways. Wow. Had to put an end to all of this. Um, repressing the illumination, right? not wanting to go through change, not wanting to get this, this wheel to turn with the divine feminine. He thought he could control it. No, uh -huh. you can't do that. You can't do that. All right, let's clarify. I need a sip of water, guys. This is a, whew, this energy. Let me know if this resonates for you. This is some powerful powerhouse couple here. Twin flame. All right, that's coming through here. What is going on for pile number four, please? Well, this person got his karma, their karma. Okay, your person got their karma really hard. Hardcore. All right, and all of that dark work manifestation stuff they're doing, it's coming. They're going to lose everything. Spirit is like the house, the money, the whatever, however they were manipulating things and the energy, done. It is coming back hardcore on them okay we have the queen of wands on the bottom yeah yeah not being able to heal with this with this person let's see what is going on for pile four person we have the page of swords here with the uh the moon in reverse and the fool so knowing they're coming out of the dark night now spirit and they need to discover more Four of Wands in reverse. So they have to break down their foundation. They have to stop building, right? In order to get a new, to, to be resurrected is what I'm hearing. There's been a delay here in giving to this situation. So they're still trying to delay and procrastinate. Why is that spirit? They're still trying to delay. Yeah, power and control. King of Wands in reverse. So they want a new beginning. They want to move forward. They know they'd have to discover more. They're just coming out of the dark night. But there's still a delay in giving to the situation. They're, they haven't taken responsibility yet. Okay. Um, why are they still in power and control here in delay spirit? They're still contemplating. See? They're still contemplating. They know they have to do it. So they're trying to find the easiest, less painful way. 
they are still fighting this five of wands spirit is saying they are still trying to fight it okay so they're not taking responsibility let's clarify that ten of wands in reverse they're not taking responsibility they're just sitting on their butt doing nothing right now. i'm sorry pal for this is a powerful cu couple so these energies this masculine is um just really fighting he's gonna break i'm hearing that when he comes back <laughs> you may not even you may be like oh. This person is completely broken because they, they're not evolving until they accept this path. We have, um, they, they have to do it in this life is what I'm hearing. Okay. This person has to do it in this life. He's been given many, many chances. These are very old, old souls and, uh, they're here to leave a legacy. And, uh, when you make a pact with God, you make a pact with God. That's just how it is. They are sitting around waiting. They are not taking responsibility yet. They're looking at their investments they're still um, looking at how to um, transform. I think they're just trying to buy their time. Clarify this, not taking responsibility and waiting spirit. Yeah, they're not working on this. So they may be focused on other things. Right now, let's clarify, what are they obsessed with, that devil? They try to change their direct tra trajectory. Yeah, the fool in reverse. So they know what they have to do. See, your person is uh, completely aware of what they have to do. But they're imbalanced because nothing is getting started. They feel very foolish. That's a hit to their ego. Because they're in this king of wands in reverse, right? So they're like very powerful masculine energy. And what they've built, they're like, nah, I've always I manifested my kingdom this way already. I know how to manifest. They got a little bit of an ego on them. That's what I'm hearing. And so Spirit is like, nah, they don't really know. They've been they've been working with um the material world instead of the higher realms and so they're very imbalanced and they're noticing that they weren't working with the star energy they were working with the devil and they have to take responsibility from this now and and that's what they're waiting on because they're very imbalanced they feel so foolish oh poor guy i'm sorry he feels foolish now because the divine feminine was right i feel divine feminine you may have tried to warn this person and they didn't want to hear it they thought they were right so now they have to offer karmic justice. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> ah, they got to offer this karmic justice. So here, look at this. So now, their wishes, your person, to bring this justice here. With this, look, we got justice twice. Yeah, it's coming in strong, guys. Karmic justice is coming. This justice is coming here to return with the five of pentacles in reverse and end separation. That's what they want now. They want the nine of cups. That's their wish right now. They want to come forward. They are willing because they know they haven't taken that responsibility. They have to. They're, they're contemplating how to do this, right? This has been a po massive power struggle for them. This is this is broken their ego, their mask, distorted masculine energy of power and control. Nobody else could do this but their divine feminine. All right. The only way to go is up now because they've hit rock bottom. This masculine, if, if he hasn't, he has is about to hit rock bottom. We have page of swords in reverse. He is being blocked to everything. He, he, from discovering anything anymore until he takes this step is what I'm hearing. Okay. Spirit is like, you want to go sign a new contract and make more money? Fail. You want to, it's like, I'm seeing the red button, like, eh, no. Okay. You want to go try and sell that property now and get money to buy a new house? No, eh, not working. You want to, you want to, uh, whatever you want to do, eh, stop done 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 nothing is happening that's how heavy this karmic stuff is so their their only next step spirit is holding it in is to make an offer to the divine feminine to bring in justice because this person needs massive healing and when that starts to happen they will see out of their contrast of the depths of the despair how things start to shift so they are realizing that they have to rise they've hit rock bottom or they're soon about to okay nothing is moving we have the chariot in reverse with the four of pentacles in reverse they have to open up now to this manipulation energy they were doing black magic they have to face the truth hard ass this is a hard truth the ace of swords is always the hard it's the hardest ace in the duck it is a hard ass truth and i'm <laughs> sorry i shouldn't get graphic by that like that's gonna be shoved up their ass like literally like this is like their bum <laughs> like it's like going right in there spirit's like you don't mess with that you don't mess with this kind of power 
you think you can manipulate things and do what you want no spirit is like i'm 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 giving you an option to redeem yourself this is how you're going to redeem yourself this is a high sorceress you guys are powerful divine feminine you are powerful they see this that they have to come clean they have to move to calmer waters with you and this is the truth they have to even tell you how they tried to manipulate it. They got to, they got to, yeah, look at this. This masculine is having massive control issues, does not want to take responsibility here. They have to learn how to hold their strength in this, be humble to persevere with the nine of wands, right? They have to block out the karmic energies for the, for the queen, for the queen of cups, right? They have to block out that queen of swords in order to get their abundance here who holds that egg look who holds the abundance that queen of cups holds the abundance so that they can manifest again and they have to get off that path or things are going to just stay stuck again and it's going to be a constant burden in their life wow and filled with regrets wow they did not do good <laughs> you guys i don't know what your masculine did but your masculine really messed up i'm going to tell you that like they're they're really they're really getting it here okay um yeah because we have here the king of wands with the six of pentacles in reverse they can no longer give to a commitment it is entrapping them and they have to end all of their foundations and break it down before they will be victorious they have to that's what's taking them so long their challenge is how to move forward with this and to remove the obstacles here they really got to do it yeah to be stable they don't do it they're not going to be stable they will be stuck in this timeline. This is what I'm getting. This masculine will be stuck in this timeline and a new person will be brought forth for the viewer. If your masculine does not do this, because I feel the, the feminine has healed and is ready to move forward. And I think, you know, I feel like if, um, and this is, if you take it as it resonates, okay? Um, if this masculine is unable to do this and they are stuck in this karmic loop in the rest of this incarnation, then um, don't worry, divine feminine you will be getting a soul partner that will be able to um, elevate you and you deserve that. And then for others, your masculine will be left with no choice that they will choose to do it in this life. So it's like a, and spirit is saying for some of them, they may not get another chance. You may, they may have to go somewhere else to incarnate, to do that in the next life. They may not be allowed back to earth is what I'm getting for some. So take it as it resonates. Um, yeah, because they, they haven't been honest and this has been a shady karmic cycle for many eons, thousands of years, I'm hearing, okay? They're bringing up Egypt times. Yeah, they haven't been honest how they, to have this reunion, okay? That, they, that they, uh, they're, they're, they have to choose between their deception and their reunion. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Yeah, the, their marriage or their foundation and their commitment and whoever they're with the karmic has to break down, the contract has to end because it's not an honest connection. It is not. It's psychologically damaging. It's money. It's sex. It's fake. It's just human desires. It's it's not holy. It's not sacred. They have to learn their le This masculine has to learn his lessons in order to come into this reunion. Clarify the three of cups. Yeah. If they're going to want to move on into their future before their ships can come in. Well, well, well. We have here three cups in reverse being hung since they ended this friendship with you. Okay, I feel like they, they've also gotten back into addictions. If they've had addictions before, they have to move forward here. Okay, they have to communicate. They have to travel to see you. They're in pain about this. Three of Swords. Four of Cups of what they've lost with, the, with you, viewer. Okay, they have to stop their in and out action. They're back and forth. They have to get very solidified in what they're doing here. Clarify the eight of wands. They have to move forward. Yeah, they have to unblock their heart here. They have to surrender with the king of cups in reverse and move through their uncomfortable energies here. Okay. We have the two of cups in reverse. They have to end a relationship in order to get here. Okay. And they have to surrender and they're still fighting it. Let's take a look at what's going on with this karmic energy. They know that they have to, uh, they messed up this karmic person as well. And they have to take responsibility. That's what they're trying to do. Because they mess up this person even more. They mess this person up more than before. It took them even deeper. But it actually showed where they're playing up, playing in karmic crap. They, they, those, these two played in many lifetimes in this black magic. And so they had to learn it. 
clarify the rejection. Yeah, they have to end the illusion. Seven of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Cups. Not their Ten of Cups. It's an illusion. They have to end it and come out of entrapment. So they know this. They're, they're ending this with the karmic now. I feel it's a very slow process because of how much they were man trying to manifest together before they can return. So they're ending the dreams. They're breaking down the family life. They know that this is not a connection that they need. They can be in. They have to end their entrapment in order for them to return. Yeah, or the wheel. Look at this. They have to return. The wheel would not. Look at this. I can't make this up, guys. What a profound reading. This wheel cannot turn until they return to the past they have unfinished business to do they can't get away with it sorry about it can't get away with it so they are heartbroken that they have to now persevere through this heartbreak and make a decision through this heartbreak they feel like a complete failure yeah well that's the humbling of the ego to know the power of, of the creator you got to be humbled. So they have to take responsibility of this betrayal and persevere through that no matter heartbreaking it is and to make amends on both ends, right? They have an awakening. They've pulled back their energy so that they can break down everything. Everything is breaking down for this person. They've had to go within. They've had to stop juggling both parties, right? Because they've, they, yeah. And the devil, they're facing the devil head on right now. That's what they're doing. They are facing the devil energy and learning how to love themselves through their dark. And it is a very humbling process. This person is looking at their toxic energies, their addictions, and how to love themselves through it to get their wishes with their nine of cups. And to stop fighting. They're learning. They're not quite there yet. But they're learning. All right. So let's see with towards the divine feminine. They're sad. They're depressed with uh, that they they didn't action this, and the wheel never turned for their for their person. What? The hermit again. They've had to pull back and go within to uh, so that they can come forward with an offer and communicate with a solid offer. Wow. Did you hear that hawk? Yeah. Wow. They've had to go in. They're depressed. They're sad. They had to go in with to find the light. They've pulled back their energy. They're trying to figure out a way how to quickly come forward with communication, with a solid offer of longevity, with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. They know they want this. They're trying to figure out how do I do this now, okay? I feel like they're really trying to block out this karmic energy. But they're still having a little hand in it, right? So they're, they, they are almost there is what I'm getting, okay? What is this death card? They have to put their end to their regret. So they're sitting in a place of shame and guilt. <clears throat> My throat, guys. They are sitting in shame and guilt because of how, the mess that they've created. And they're realizing their power in their masculine energy of how much of a mess they've made when they don't follow the, the knowing that they knew because they were too afraid and because they tried to go along with what they were comfortable with and how they've created in the past. Okay. So they're trying to, um, put an end. Yeah. To the karmic partner. They're ending it. Their regrets. They're transforming and they're ending a commitment here. And to be able to come forward and to give those two aces, clarify those two aces. Yeah, the five of swords ending conflict so that they can come forward with a very solid offer. All right, very solid offer. Because they know that they put their divine feminine through the dark. Put her through the ringer. Put her through the ringer. They are knowing now what this divine feminine has gone through in her life. And they understand now because they're going through it now. Now they get it. They're coming into an awakening. Okay, guys, they're awakening. Wow, wow. What a powerful read, guys. That is what's going on in your connection. Very intense. Super intense. If you guys like that, let me know if this was your story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hitting that like button right now really helps my channel to grow, guys. If you subscribe, even better. And if you want to catalyze your energy and you want more insight on your situation, we can definitely do a coaching session. If you're having problems with any patterns and um, um, 
getting out of them, I do uh, offer a starlight session. Check out my website, email me down below. And comment, guys. I would love to hear what is going on with you with this with this reading. All right. What is going on for pile fours? Person, please. What is going on for pile fours? Person, spirit. Wow. Look at this. You guys are connecting through the music. So this, this person is feeling you. Whenever they hear music, that's one of the signs. That's the main sign. When they look for signs and where to go, the music is guiding them. Okay, so music is very prominent to bring this change, which is a number five. They love you. They never stop loving you. They're just realizing that they tried to get the easy way out. I don't feel like this person was really that love in this karmic energy. I feel like it was just easy to control because your person has massive control issues. So it was just easier. You know, it didn't break down their their world. It didn't break things down for them enough that they could still have massive control and still live a yeah pretty okay life, mediocre life. But that's all it is. It's just this nine of cups. Look, it's just the nine of cups. It's not the 10th cup it's okay. So they're realizing how much you hold this cup of love and they want that cup of love, right? There is definitely a love partnership that's happening here and a relationship change that is happening in this connection. Definitely happening in this connection. This is um, a lot of shifting, a lot of changing that is happening here. Let's take a look. What is going on for pile number four, please? Yeah, they're crying tears of blood now, guys. You know, they're, they've been purified. So this person is trying to figure it out now. They're kind of in between worlds, but they know that they need to speak to you soon. I'm really getting that. Okay, so you may hear communication soon for some of you. Let's see what is going on for pile four with the hidden oracle, please. What has been hitting, hiding and what is coming through here for pile four? <laughs> All right, that one really wants to come out. Let's see what else. Any more? I feel like there should be like one more. Okay, there we go. All right. So we have here the Rainbow Prince, number 26, compensation and perseverance. Viewer, you are about to be compensated your karma, all right, um, for your perseverance on your path. And it's showing your partner and your person how to persevere in their light, in their life as well. And look at the light, the rainbow, right? This is a magical connection. They are starting to access this realm of where you've been sitting in. And they're starting to understand that they have to persevere and give back to you. Karma is owed now. Okay. The wise woman of Wonderland. <laughs> Integrity and compromise. Look at she's sitting on a mushroom. So mushrooms may be significant to you in new beginnings here. So you may be doing plant medicine, but... Or if you're called to, hit me up. I can definitely um, put you on a list for doing um, a ceremony when I return to Canada. So this is definitely, um, you know, sitting with your truth and your authenticity and realizing that the viewer, you were this person the whole time, the queen sitting on her throne, and they're like, damn, I need to compromise with my person now. I need to really come forward here. We have here... The eyes of beauty, positive expectations, and clarity. They're noticing beauty in different ways now. This person may have been really stuck in distorted masculine energy of what beauty was, maybe aesthetics. Um, they're realizing that they've gained a lot of clarity and how they see things. A veil is being removed from these eyes. They're starting to see a lot differently. That veil, too, is that blood, right? The purifying process. Their eye, Look how big these eyes are, are being opened to this connection. And we have here, they're doing trust and strategizing with the chess queen, okay? So they're definitely looking at a way and trying to figure out a way and how to come forward. All right, let's pull some messages. This is my mirrored message deck. The white is masculine energy. The black is feminine energy. Uh, if a white shows up, it is messages directly from your divine masculine, if you are a divine feminine, and if it is in the divine feminine energy, it just means that those are the messages that your person is hearing you in where you're currently at in your vibration. All right, let's see. What is going on for pile four? What messages are going on 
for pile four person what would they like to say to the viewer please what is going on for pile four all right we've got whew, we've got quite a bit see they want to talk to you like this is an insane amount <laughs> cards that came out for pile four they got a lot to say a lot has happened in your connection okay so it's probably longer than the others too let's see here divine feminine energy this there isn't much i can do but trust in a higher power a day doesn't pass that i don't think of you so that's divine feminine energy stating that all right and take it as it resonates if you're divine feminine watching they're hearing you on the inside that that's what you're feeling okay divine feminine energy i'm letting the past go however our path has unfolded i am trusting that it's perfect balance with god sorry i'm reading that wrong i am letting the past go however our paths have unfolded i am trusting that it's perfect because god created us perfectly together wow so there's a lot of faith in the divine here masculine energy we both rejected each other on some level tough love is sometimes the only way we learn so the masculine went through it okay they got their karma whatever they did to you viewer they got theirs and they are learning now that those tough lessons were definitely needed okay divine feminine i'm so angry about our situation i'm doing my best to heal this i know you feel my anger but i also know i have to express it in order to heal it so yeah there's still some anger that's happening here and the masculine feels it for sure divine masculine i don't contact you because i need to rise up in my own power on my own I need to rise up in my power on my own. You deserve a strong masculine to support and protect the power you bring down from the heavens. I am honored to do this for us. Wow. So yeah, they're very aware of your power and how powerful they are now too. And they know that they have to rise up to this. There's no other way. They've been kind of like pushed against the wall. They do it or they don't, right? To my masculine. I knew it was you. And the more we got to know, sorry, I knew it was you. And the more we got to know one another, something stirred deeply within me. You fascinate me. You have awakened a part of me I had forgotten. In fact, I didn't even know this type of love even existed. Yes, they felt it for sure. You are the most beautiful incarnation of femininity I have ever been blessed to cross paths with that's beautiful guys um so much love to you don't forget to like and subscribe comment below i'd love to hear what you thought of this was one of the crazy piles but intense piles but i'm sending you so much love bye guys